As Owen Cook puts it, success is like a quiet daily set of tasks. Real, real small. It's like that quiet walk to the library. That empty 24-7 library late at night. Over and over and over. Or as I sit there studying other great people and I compare their actions with my own actions, over and over and over. Or as I sit doing 30 minutes of meditation a day, over and over and over. Making the choice to eat foods that enhance my brain neurotransmitters, over and over and over. It's a very quiet process where you're doing these simple little tasks, but finding love in those simple little tasks. It's not the big thing, where you do this one thing and something big happens. Being able to make a success out of your life, it's not purely down to luck. You have more control over it than you think. You can decide to be successful. You can decide to have the fast cars and the big house. And it starts right here, with your studying. Not because getting good grades is going to bring you success in the future. It's about the work ethic and the attitude you have towards your studying that will transfer to your work after you graduate. It's about believing that you can achieve something and doing whatever it takes to achieve it. It's about fine-tuning the skills you have to zero in on your goals. The skills that you are improving while you're studying. Work ethic, time management, reading, critical thinking, problem solving, decision making, focus, reasoning, persuasion, organization, overcoming obstacles, and self-motivation. These are all skills that all great students have improved and refined over years of efficient and effective studying. And it's these students that have made a decision that when the world is saying, that's impossible, you're not capable, your dreams will stay as dreams. They have that lone voice that goes, no, you know what? It is possible. Just watch me. They have gone through this process of growth and they have pushed and pushed through all the obstacles that were thrown at them. It's important that you don't think of your studying as though it's all about passing your exams and getting a piece of paper at the end of it all so you can get a good job. Because it's so much more than that. And it's the great students that understand this. It's not about your exams. It's about the process and the journey you go on and the skills you refine over the years. It's about when you don't feel like studying, but you continue to push through and study anyway. It's doing the things that you need to do, that you know you need to do when you don't feel like doing it. Because the reality is, is that most people can study when they're feeling good. Most people can study when they have no distractions, when they're in a quiet environment, when there's pressure put on them as a deadline is approaching. But just being able to study on the highs isn't good enough. You have to be able to study all the time. So learning how to refocus your mind on the lows and knowing the lows are going to end is a huge skill. The process is just as important as the actual prize. Because the process is going to make you. The deeper the process, the greater the reward. Just remember, the prize is going to be huge.